Let's face it, the way that you're going to make more money is by automating or hiring someone. But hiring someone will cost you on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. And that can get really expensive. And for us mortals to have a small business, the way to go is by automating. So on this video, I'm going to show you Scythe 1 that you can grab right now for a lifetime deal. So let's go check it out and show you how it works. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Swipe One, and it's a CRM and marketing automation platform. That way we can automate some of the processes to save us time and in return, make more money. So the idea is to automate. So it's gonna take you a bit of time in the beginning, but then it's gonna be all worthwhile, all right? So Swipe One right now is on a lifetime deal, and I recommend that you grab it right now because the price is going to increase in a few days. So check out that link in the description. So let's go into swipe one. This is my dashboard and we're going to be able to have a CRM right here with all the details from our clients or our fans. Depends how you want to use this. Okay. And the idea is to convert these into obviously more fans, sales or leads. Okay. So the idea to automate is obviously by adding contacts. And there's three main ways to add contacts in swipe one. One is to manually add a contact. So that means you can create a contact and add the details manually for each one of these columns. And the other option is by adding a CSV with a long list that you might have from a past list that you want to bring inside of swipe one. And the third one is by automating the process. And to do that, you're going to be able to do that in workflows. Now, this is where the magic actually happens in swipe one by automating processes. That's going to save you a ton of time. Okay. So I'm going to create a new workflow right here and I'll just say to test for video, just to give it a name. And then it's going to open up the builder, right? So let's jump into here and we have a brand new builder where we're going to be able to get started. First off, we have triggers and triggers is the first thing that needs to happen in order for the next step to automate, all right? The first thing we need to do is decide what trigger we want to use in order to start this automation flow. So you can do it by several ways. And in this case, let me give you some examples. One can be by an email. So that means that I've connected my Gmail already and I can do automation based on a Gmail. So I have the event name, in this case, email received. We're gonna save that. And then in this case, I would recommend that you add a filter. That means that we're gonna continue this automation if the filter criteria is met, okay? So for example, if I add a filter here and I say if the event properties, I would say, for example, the subject, is or not or contains and in this case i'll say contains and i'll say for example uh marketing or you decide what you want to do right but in this case that's the filter and if the subject has marketing the flow will continue and that's just to give you an idea of how you can use this another way to trigger the automations can be by entering a segment so segments are created inside of swipe one and you can select it and then select a segment so if one of these clients fans or whatever you decide to use this for enters into one of these segments, for example, a happy customer, then we're going to save this and the flow is going to continue. So in this case, those are two ways that you can do this. And also, for example, I can do a WooCommerce event. That would be another trigger. And again, I'm just showing you ideas of how you can start your workflow. Again, I'll select WooCommerce and then I'll select here. And then I can select what is going to trigger this workflow and I have options, for example, uh, or orders created. But in this case, I want to do a customer is created. So that means that if someone purchases from my WooCommerce site, then that contact is going to be added here and it's going to start this workflow. Now, what you're going to decide to do with the workflow, it's up to you, right? But there's several ways that we can use these triggers and then use conditions for the filter, as you saw right here for the example. And then we have the actions. Okay, so what's going to happen? First, we worked on the trigger. Now, what is going to be the action? So in this case, there's several things. I can do this, for example. I can do a wait. For example, first, I'll connect it and I'll say, what do I want to wait for? Let's select it here after i would say two days i will give you an example and that would be for example someone sent you an email you want to wait two days you don't want to do it immediately so we added this action right here so condition yes and then we want to do more things in actions we can update the tag so for example i'll add a tag right here i'll select it and then i can say add a tag and we'll send them to a lead right let's select that there and the tags do we want to remove any no so you have two options in case they already have a tag, you can go ahead and remove it. So in this case, we're gonna receive an email, it's gonna filter this out, and if the subject says marketing, it's gonna wait two days, and then it's gonna update the tag to create a lead for that person. 
And then we can start off, for example, a notification email, a marketing email, a sales email, etc. It's up to you what you want to do. For example, I'll do an A-B testing. Go ahead and select this and an A-B testing. I'll select the marketing email and I'll do another marketing email. So we have two right here because we're doing A-B testing and I'll connect one here and I'll say variant A and I'll connect the second one over here and that would be variant B. Now in A-B testing, there's options available to decide how much percentage you want to send one or the other. So in this case, it's just split down the middle 50-50, but you can decide if you want to do 30-70, it's up to you, right? And then we have the details for the email marketing. I just click on the email marketing automation. So I'm going to name this, I'll just say test one. I'll choose the email and I have simple email and I have rich emails. I'll select rich emails. In this case, I am going to use one of these templates. So I'll go ahead and select this one. And I really do like the builder that Soy one has. So check that out, test it out for yourself. If you select the elements, you can work in it. You got your details to modify everything here and we are going to be good to go. Subject name and the from email. I'm just going to save this. Here we go. That is email one. So you can see test one. I'll select the other email marketing action and I'll say test two. Again, I'll choose simple email for this one. Let's go ahead and say uh, tech test. Here we go. Let's go ahead and save it. Um, I forgot to add a subject there, but uh, don't worry, you get the idea. So in this case, I've just started a workflow right here. And at the end, we can do the end workflow. We can send the webhook maybe for a, another situation. Maybe it, you can go ahead and continue the automation here for different purposes, but it's up to you how you want to use it, all right? So in this case, let's go ahead and select this. The email is delivered, email is open, or the email link is clicked. I'll just say the email is delivered, right? And then I'll continue the workflow if I want, for example, if the email test two works, right? In this case, I'll also end it, all right? There we go, email open, right? That just give you an idea, but you can use these to continue with tags. So if the email was open or clicked on, you can add tags to that by continuing this workflow. But this is just a quick idea of how you can get started with the workflow automations with this. Once you're done, you can go ahead and activate this and it'll start working. So in this case, if I activate this right now, someone sends me an email with the email account that I've connected here, it's gonna start the workflow just like that, all right? So that's how easy it is to create a workflow here on Swipe One. Now that's one of the big reasons that you should consider Swipe One. The other way is you can connect apps right here. So most of these apps are connected through webhooks. So if, for example, you see job form, it's still connected via webhooks. So it's not a direct connection. But for me, the most important integration is webhooks because it opens up to a bunch of categories and a bunch of applications that do use webhooks and you can connect via webhook to your workflows. So that's a great option there, right? And then you have campaigns. Just like you saw that email when I was setting it up on workflows, this kind of same idea, but you can start email campaigns straight from here. So I'll go to create a new campaign and I'll just say test three for this. Let's choose the email and I'll use rich emails for this. You have available templates and I'll just go ahead and select this one. Like I said before, I do like their email builder has several options available and I do like the options that they have. So do consider this for that purpose. You can go ahead and edit everything right here on the live editor. And if you're good to go, then fill out the rest of the details, okay? So from name, I'll just say, SAS master and then the segment i will send it to all my segments right here or i can just select the one that i want to do the from email the one you have to connected and the subject so i'll just say test right there if you're good to go you can go ahead and schedule this you can send it right now if you want to or just go ahead and schedule it's up to you what you want to do with the email campaigns but you saw how easy it is to do that right there so basically that is swipe one you can start automating really quickly with this deal and as i mentioned before it's on a lifetime deal right now and that link we provided in the description do be aware that the pricing that's available right now will change in a few days to increase so i would recommend that you grab it now since there's a 60 day money back guarantee and it gives you 60 days to test out the product and if you don't like it you can go ahead and refund it and i would do recommend that you if you plan to grab it now check out the app Sumo Plus membership that will give you an extra 10% discount with extra perks. So check it out also in the description. And that's a wrap.